Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser RC. I'm at Electrosport RC Raceway in the old pit area, and we're not really using it for race pits anymore, although you can. One of the things that got added in here was a mini crawler course. Someone local was selling one, brought it in here, so I thought, heck, why don't we try a mini crawler course, because I have one. I have the Axial SCX 24 deadbolt. This is the original Axial SCX 24. It has no modifications to it. Hey, batteries for the transmitter. I love that when that's included. Couple A's. These are not very good for reliability, so we'll look at other alternatives. Looks all right. Let's look at balance and charge. Feels all right. Nice foam wheel. Pretty good for a micro crawler. wanted to just kind of run it stock and see what that looks like. Then I thought, well, on stock tires and stock setup, how much will it improve if you add just a little bit of weight? I think there's only four grams in total if you put all four wheel hexes on. The reason why I wanted these small ones is because Proline makes pre-mounts, Hyrax pre-mounts for the SCX24, and the wheel that they use has a beadlock design that would interfere with a big wheel weight. It has these big spots there screw together and those would interfere with the big brass wheel weight so you can only run small st standard hexes in it so but I want to get some shots of it crawling stock on the crawler course I don't know what's a good line and imagine that I can get up on the top now if you're looking to build one of these courses um, it's expansion foam and this is like that spray stuff expansion foam and uh, you can get a pretty good course built out of that can I recover? So that's something where, oh, I also forgot to put my body pins on. <laughs> Whoops, that's my bad. Okay, I'm going to just put my body pins on and then correctly put it on its side again and see if I can self-recover. Someone came in and was talking to me and uh, I, got, I forgot to put my body pins on. I usually only want to run one body pin because uh, you tend to kind of open this thing often. And they're really small. I said I was gonna put it on the side, it was kind of like, Kind of like that. I just want to see, can I recover? And how would you best do it? I went the wrong way. No. Okay, reset. Box stock, can I get over this? I can. I want to use the popsicle stick bridge, which is over here, if you can't see it. Getting up here is gonna be tricky though. I'm not sure how I'm just gonna do that. Whoa, I'm in a bad position there. Quite precarious position here. I'm just high centered. Oh, 
So this is with the original electronics. Apparently the uh, apparently the new electronics is even smoother. Like that was kind of herky jerky to like back it up, and the slow speed response on the new speed control is apparently very good. And that's on the uh, the new hard body Bronco as well as the Gladiator. You get newer electronics. Now most people don't keep these stock for very long, but if you did, you know, getting one of the newer models. If you think you're going to not put hundreds of dollars in upgrades in, but seems to be a lot of people do with these things. All right, so here's a really hard line for the stock tires, is this line right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, oh, oh, no, I can't do it. Okay, so I'm gonna change tire. Now working on these things doesn't seem like the most fun thing, just because everything's so small. If you are a child with small hands, I think you would enjoy it. But for me, and I'm used to working on 10 scale and bigger stuff. Everything's very, very teeny tiny. Part of a hex wrench that you almost never use, which is these little inside ones. Use those to get your little nuts off. I think they're like a, like a three mil or something. They're super tiny. Get your tire off. These are the stock tires on the SCX24. This is the stock hex, and it's a little plastic hex. And now I'm gonna put this brass one on. You also, this is the hot racing kit. You also get new hex pins, although I don't think you need them. Okay, we're gonna see if the uh, hot racing hex is compatible with the stock pin. And it is. The new Hyrax tires, I'll just I'll show you what I was talking about. Okay. Oh wow, the quality difference immediately is super noticeable. So with the Hyrax ones, you get foams. The stock tires, there are no foams at all. So you get foams, as well as this is using their, uh, what compound is this? I don't think it tells you what compound it is. It's, uh, it's not quite as sticky as their stickiest stuff, but it's got the Hyrax tread type that you're looking for. Do the weights and the Hyrax tires all at once because you're not gonna keep stock tires on for very long, are you? No, you're gonna go buy wheels and tires as an upgrade, so let's try that. We're on to the last tire now. I just, uh, before I put it on, I just wanted to show you the parts that would get in the way. So there are little hex screws in there because this is a true beadlock wheel uh, versus these ones that come stock are glued. So you can't ever change them. Well, you can, but it takes acetone and patience and it's really not worth your time. So these ones are replaceable, but I think a lot of people are not a fan of this design because like I said, it gets in the way of a big wheel weight. And really you do, would be benefited by having a lot of weight on this rear axle. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing these little one gram brass weights and then I'm gonna try the brass diff covers on another date and just see where we go from there. I am not putting a bunch of money into this thing. I, uh, I refuse <laughs> because I have so many other RCs that need fundage upgrades more than this and uh, this is just for just for some relaxing crawling fun okay and just like that we are now on hyrax tires with a little bit more weight it's almost it's kind of noticeable that little bit of weight also i think this wheel and tire package weighs more because it has foams in it so yeah let's see how we do now same approach All right, we're doing it now though. Advantage to the Hyrax so far, but we're gonna bring it over to the spot that we had struggled with to see if the Hyrax tires and the weight makes any difference. Oh yes, it does. Oh, so much more grip. It did shift over on the line, but you can see that I can actually grip on this so much better. All right, I don't think I can actually get up this. Because it is still high center, but there is significantly more grip on this, where the stock tires were just slipping like crazy, they could not grip it, and on the high racks, it's, uh, it is a noticeable grip improvement. That's all I want to do, just play around, so worth your time to put some better tires on your XTX24 for sure. Let's just see. If I put this here, a lower angle, then I should be able to get up. Now this course, this course has a lot of high center, high center bits. Oh, that was a, that 
was a mistake. All right, look at that. Okay, that extra little bit of weight totally helped. I was able to just, just get up there without rolling over. Oops. Got myself wedged in. <laughs> Whoops. I did rearrange some rocks a little bit. Yeah. I can do it. If you take it the right line, you can do it. I do think that adding brass to the diff covers in the center will make a big difference. Just get that extra little bit of weight down low. And then uh, we'll see if the servo can handle it because I've heard that they're pretty weak. But anyway, fun little rig. All right, so yeah, mini crawl course. I did all use it much, but it's, it's here. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Should I get the new hard body Bronco? Oh, I don't really want to get a collection of these things, but some of the newer ones look pretty nice. I do like the Gladiator for sure.